Go to the top menu and click on the contacts icon here. On the left side, click on the plus icon, then select the first option, invite a Zoom contact. Type the email address of the contact you want to add. Click on the invite button and a message will indicate that the request has been sent. In the top menu, click on the chat icon here. Now on the left side, select the contact requests option. A window is open. Click on accept, then confirm by clicking on accept request button too. And that's it. You will receive a notification when your contact has accepted the request. Go to the contacts icon and on the left side, you will see the column titled my contacts. Of the options, click on the external option. Now you can see a list of all the contacts you have added. If contacts are missing, alert them to accept your invitation. On the right side of the contact's name, you can see its status. In this example, Riley is online from her mobile device, as you can see. You can select your availability status. To change it, click on the upper right image and you will see three different options. Available, Away, and Do Not Disturb. Also, you can select how long you will be absent or not available. When you hover your mouse over a contact, you will see quick functions to start a conversation such as creating a chat or a quick video call. You will see this menu depicted as a three dots icon. When you click on this menu, you will see the same options we just described. Also, you can select if you want to receive a notification when your contact is connected. You can star a specific contact to find the contact more easily by clicking here. In the final part of the menu, you can block a contact, clear chat history, or delete a contact. Future videos will provide more information about how to interact effectively with your contacts. Don't miss our next video. Burn to Learn is working to help you understand the changes in technology as they happen. Stay in the know. Subscribe today.